हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्जियोमेटिकॉस दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर आई आई टी जैम टू थाउजेंड इलेवन सो वी आर हेयर विद दिस प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम वन ऑफ योर पेपर एंड दिस इज एनालिसिस प्रॉब्लम सो लेट एस है लुक लेट ए एन इज डिफाइंड लाइक दिस सो ए एन इज अ सीक्वेंस विच इज डिफाइंड लाइक दिस फॉर एन बिलोंगिंग टू नेचुरल the sequence an is so it first option suggests us that it's convergent second one suggests us that it's bounded but not convergent third one says diverges to infinity and fourth one says neither bounded nor divergent diverges to infinity so these are your options right so now just uh let me change my pen okay so what we have we have this an right so our first step to solve this question is to understand this sequence in order to understand this sequence we have to write it explicitly so what i am doing now i am writing the sequence explicitly so it's like this n over n square plus 1 n over n square plus 2 up to n over n square plus n so this is your sequence right so firstly just observe here that denominator here on this term is lesser than the denominator here and this one is lesser than the third term right so denominator keeps on increasing okay on the right direction now since denominator keeps on increasing that means the whole quantity keeps on decreasing on the right direction that means this quantity is bigger than this than this than this then are you getting my point so this observation is the main catch of the question what you can apply here you can apply sandwich principle here okay so how is that i will show you so what i am going to do i will just replace this two with one if i am replacing this two with one what i am doing i am increasing this thing now since this thing is increased so the whole sum will be increased right so i will do this to everyone okay which is after this term so what will happen this an will be finally less than n by n square plus 1 what i have done i have just replaced 2 with 1 and i am doing this for every member right you see you got my point so now see what i can do i can write this thing as n dot n of n square plus 1 are you getting my point or not since these are n number of terms so if you will add them you will get this now in order to get a lower bound what you have to do you have to increase the denominator because if you will increase the denominator the quantity will decrease so this number will decrease if you will increase the denominator so i am replacing every member over here with this n so what happens then you will get n over n square plus n plus n over n square plus n up to n over n square plus n so see over here that you can write this as n square by n square plus n now i will just state sandwich principle okay what it says that if we have three sequences an bn and cn which satisfies this relation for all n belongs to natural number then what happens if an comma cn goes to l okay it means that if this sequence and this sequence converges to the same limit point then your bn will converge to that limit point okay also converge to that so this is the sandwich principle okay i hope you already know this principle okay it's it's there from your intermediate level so now let us try to find out limits of n square 
plus n so what you will get you will get this thing right when you divide by n square so what you are getting you are getting 1 so this thing goes to 1 now check the right hand side so what you will get you will get 1 over 1 plus 1 by n square so you will get 1 so this thing also converges to the same limit point that means a n has to converge to that limit point so limit n goes to infinity a n is also 1 so this is what i am trying to suggest to you are you getting my point or not so so far what we have done we have used a uh, sandwich principle to show that a n converges to 1 now since a n converges to 1 so it's pretty much clear that your a option is correct so a is correct b c and d are incorrect options right so thank you